You know, those of us who, who live um, what, what I call on the outskirts of uh, society, we, we, we live on the outskirts. And, and I live probably, I don't know, about 70, uh, 65, anywhere between 65 and 75 miles outside of a major city. And, I mean, I look, town is so small, uh, you probably pick up a rock and start at one end up and 10 times you done threw the, threw the whole thing. But those of us that are out here that, uh, that understand farmers, farming, and, and what's going on, many of you people in the city may not understand what's going on. You see, this year, um, hay is going to be running scarce. Um, they're up here in this tobacco smoking town up here where that they grow tobacco in. It's amazing. This, this whole town is overrun with missionary Baptists, but boy, I tell you, tobacco is divine in this county. But anyway, there's neither here nor say. Let me get to the point. Um, there's been a drought all across America this year because of the heat wave. Uh, and, and the time framing of it, you know, the time frame of it. I said the other day that it looks like that we are about a month ahead of where we should be. A whole month of where we should be. That's where we at right now. And um, that means that, you know, with this drought that has already taken place, um, that you're getting ready to see your food prices soar even more so, um, because corn, soybean, um, I, I can go on and 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 on about it. Uh, that means a lot of people are going to be selling, uh, beef is going to go down a little bit because everybody's going to be selling their beef because they can't afford um, to feed the beef this winter time because hay is scarce and everybody's holding on to hay uh, kind of like a wino does its bottle. And, and so there's going to be a lot of sell-off. you got to get rid of a lot of livestock. And, and of course, those of us out here, can you imagine uh, 10 years ago we were paying $3.50, so anywhere between $3 and $3.50 for a 50-pound bag of corn, crack corn. Can you imagine that? And today, uh, a 50-pound bag of crack corn is $11.99, a $12 bill for a 50 pound bag of cracked corn. Well, you might go on, you might be saying, well, pass down. I mean, you know, if you live in the city, it has no effect on you whatsoever at all because you go to work, then you go to, uh, you know, to the store and then you buy whatever's in the can and stuff in it, and it doesn't have any effect on you. But when you have animals and livestock like we do out here, uh, there's a lot of things we have to change. There's a lot of things we have to change, and a lot more things we're going to have to change because uh, I can't imagine seeing a 50 pound bag of corn, 50 pound bag of corn. $15, $20 a bag. I mean, the, the chicken feed, the good chicken feed, the stuff that we get mixed and stuff, you could get that stuff three, three dollars, four dollars, a 50 pound bag uh, all day long 10 years ago. Now you, you're paying in excess of 15 to 17 to 18 dollars for a 50 pound bag. So even homesteading is, is going to be something that's going to be rough up on the people unless you own enough land to be able to produce, I'm talking about hundreds of acres of land to be able to produce enough food. There's a lot of changes that has to be made, whether you be in a city or in the country. And I've always been what you call a visionary, meaning I, I have the ability to look out and discern ahead of time, uh, you know, things that, that's going to take place and things going to happen and, uh, and be prepared for it. It's like, you know, me moving out of the city and stuff. You know, I'm still today called everything under the sun. Um, I, I can't even go to a natural family member's home. Don't make no difference to me. Um, that's what they chose. Makes no difference to me. So be it. Um, but, but it's amazing now that when everything was booming way, 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 way back then and everybody's running to and fro, making all the dollars, Federal Reserve notes and everything that there was and everything that still is, um, that, that now it's coming back to bite them. It's coming back to bite them because they didn't have the enough spirituality nor discernment to look out and see what's taking place. Um, you know, it's always been my advice to tell people don't go out and get um, jacked up with a 20 or 30 year mortgage because I'm telling you, the way the economy's going, the way things are going, and of course, you know, I'm a poor man, so everybody despises what I got to say until, until, 
here it is 15 years later. Now I'm looking like one of the most intelligent men on the earth. No, it's just, I'm telling you what I do. I follow the Bible. Um, and and the Bible helps, gives me a lot of discernment of, of what's getting ready to take place because it's amazing that history has this uncanny ability to be able to repeat itself. And some of us can see the signs of the times and pretty much can tell you um, the way things are going and what's getting ready to take place. And you can't expect the news media out there to tell you the truth of what's going on, how money is failing. Um, most people assume that soon as if they just get their paycheck every week, that everything is just fine. You don't understand that your taxes, you're paying, you're being levied, uh, heavy taxes. And we don't have a politician uh, in the outhouse, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> uh, the White House. There's not one politician up there that represents us, the people, and our interests whatsoever at all. Because the amount of money that they receive in uh, tax revenue, tax funds that they extract from uh, the working class citizens, you know, W-2, that means you're a second class working citizen, in case you didn't know that. Um, but the amount of money that we pay these so-called House of Representatives, Senators, uh, politicians, i.e., you know, that, that's pocket change compared to what the corporations uh, give them in campaign contributions and um, donates. They, they donate through handouts and, and, and bribes. You know, they give them bribes and stuff. You have to understand. I know it, it sounds crazy and a lot of people don't know, but do you know that our Supreme Court justices you have to understand you need to part first of all understand this who do they represent and what justice system do they represent because the justice system we're under right now there is no justice for us whatsoever at all it's only for the upper one percent this whole world and the whole system of it is geared so that the upper one percent can have a plush life and it's all stewarded for us it's, it's just nothing but a hard way to go and a short time to get there for us. But our, our Supreme Court so-called justices, you know what they did? They ruled that a corporation is a person. That means Walmart is a person. You understand that? Uh, that, that means ExxonMobil is a person. That means Halliburton is a person. And that means J.P. Morgan is a person. So when you got these so-called soulless persons being represented. Can you believe that? Being represented. And, and not only that, um, I mean, money is political power. If they slide $360,000 a year to a politician, what's your little eighty, ninety, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 a year as a taxpayer you giving them? That's pocket change. And if they're getting that from four, five, six, seven, eight different sources and stuff, that's why you see every person that ever enters into Congress, they all come out millionaires and I'm talking about seven digit millionaires I mean just unbelievable I'm talking about double i I'll be way up there millionaires I mean it's if you want to become a millionaire the quickest way to do it is to become a politician and accept bribes quickest way to do it under the table you know why because it's all legal that's like the people right now your savings are being raped from you you're going to the store and the prices continue to keep going up look at the gas prices right now Where's the news media outcry the gas prices? We're sitting at almost four dollars a gallon right now, right before an election. I mean, what what is the election gonna do? Huh? I mean, we, that's more taxes being levied against us, and and our wages are not going up because you know why? When they print seven hundred billion dollars and they call it a stimulus, uh, you know, a stimulus package, quantitative easing in one, quantitative easing in two quantitative easing three when they do all that that easing is not for for you and it's not for me it's for wall street the bankers and and those folks up there they are the one you, you know if you realize most of people don't know that ever since 2008 this so-called allegedly financial collapse i keep telling us we are in a depression i don't care what people say we are in a depression um but Hey, do you realize that there's been more millionaires made during this time right now? Look at all the scandal that is going on in the banking system and stuff. And you mean to tell me the only person that they can throw in jail is Bernie Madoff? No, it's a corrupt system of unjust weights and balances. 
And if you continue to keep going to the same old banks, functioning as usual, doing the same old thing, you deserve what you get. Um, if you continue to keep trusting in their system, you know, I was thinking today as I was um, going out and buying food, more food. I was buying more food for the community. I was thinking, and, and these Federal Reserve notes I got in my pocket, I said, man, what a scheme it is to set up and have paper in your hands. And because it is the accepted medium of exchange, is what we use to purchase. And, it, and we use that to purchase goods and services. And we've been duped and deceived to think that that's purchasing power. When you go back into my archives and you get an education on what real money is, sound money, and you see what they've done to us, we have been literally raped. I mean really raped. We've had our wealth stolen from us. And because you bring it home um, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars every week, paycheck or something like that. And you think that you're still making that kind of money, but you, yeah, you can't buy the same amount of goods and services with that amount of money as you could 20 years ago. As a matter of fact, you can make less 20 years ago and get more than what you can today. I'll tell you what. So, I know that the Bible teaches that a wise man, he sees evil. He sees it coming. And he should be able to give warning to the people. And you look at your churches and see if they're preparing anybody for what's getting ready to come. You look at the news media, mainstream news media, to see if you're getting any direction from them. It's all independent news sources. It's all alternative news sources. It's all people like us who have come out of the system who, watch this, know a lie when we hear it and see it. And we choose, we choose to walk in the truth. Most people can't do that because the truth costs people too much. It's more than they're willing to pay. It's more than they're willing to pay. And most people just don't have that kind of integrity in their heart. You know, I talk about it all the time. People can tell you the truth about the financial side, but they can't tell you the truth about the spiritual side. And that's remarkable. And, and if hey, in this country, uh, if you notice, the liberty movement is big. I mean, real big. But you really, let's just look at it for a moment and correct me if I'm wrong. Does not the liberty movement only center and focus on your hide right now? What does it do for when the breath go out of your body? Because I promise you, when the breath go out of your body, you're going to be dead a whole lot longer than alive. And one day, whether you believe this or not, it's totally irrelevant. It's what I believe. And you may, hey, it's your prerogative to disagree with me. It really, truly, I'm not going to fight with you. If you disagree with me. But I do know this. I've been on the side. What I didn't know too much about God. Uh, I didn't know too much about the Holy Spirit and stuff. And, but now I'm on this side. Where I have a personal relationship with him. And I can tell you one thing. That the most high. You know. Uh, people think. That. You know. They're auditioning. For salvation. If they pick and choose to come to him. But, but I tell you what. I tell you what, this religion of Christianity has done a number on you people. And when you really, truly, carefully look at it, these other religions popping up like Messianic Judaism or Messianics and all, you know, they, they are doing the exact same thing as Christianity has done. It's just that you don't have a watchman out there to warn you and to blow the trumpet and to tell you what's going on. Well... If we continue to keep going and listening to people who tell us what we want to hear, I guarantee one thing, and one thing alone that's going to happen, you will be destroyed. It's the ones that know what's going on. That's right. And there's only a few of us. There's just a remnant in there. I hope you can hear. And I only do I hope you can hear. I hope you have the ability to make a change because whenever you embrace the truth, accept the truth, no matter what that truth is, get ready. For separation, get ready for a lot of heartache and a lot of pain. We never did tell you that that it wasn't going to be painful. Pastor Dow has always told you it's just going to be the truth. And I tell you, it's looking bad for this country. Let me finish this video by asking you this question right here. You know your neighbor who you live next to, probably 5, 10, 15, 20 years and stuff? Can you really trust that neighbor? Hmm? I mean, now... On our community, the neighbor 
Our neighbor is his brothers and sisters that I see every day. I eat with them twice a day every day. But I'm talking about these people that live up the road and right next to you and stuff that you barely even really truly know them and they know you. Can you really truly trust them when we live in a world without rule of law? And if you can't, then where where is your mutual assistance group? And if you don't have one, why come you're not thinking this way? What's the problem? I mean, do the math on what's really going on today. Are you that blinded by lust of the flesh? Are you that blinded? And you that offended and that bitter that you just refuse? Hey, the attitude of what I see today is no different than what I've read about in all the history books. And I've got history books here. People are apathetic. They are complacent. They are docile. They are dormant. Their attitude and the way they live, they're just totally demoralized. It's like there's just no hope whatsoever at all in their eyes. And it's utterly remarkable and amazing to see there's no hope. There's not a spark or a glimmer. I mean, even entertainment in this country is even getting wore out. I mean, it is actually even boring people half to death. We are in and getting ready for one serious ride. Let me end this on a bad, bad information note. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed on the streets of America. Prepare. Get yourself ready. This country has been sold down the tubes. And they didn't include you at the bargaining table, at the table to see if you would like to have it or not. This thing that, you know, they continue to keep trying to pump up as, you know, an American dream and all like this. No, it's a literal nightmare. And when those banks close those doors and they have a bank run, when money faileth, just like the book says, it money faileth. People are geared to do anything necessary in order to obtain what they want because I've seen the selfishness of an American spirit. And it ain't good. It's not good at all. Wake up.